Okay, so you've watched hundreds of minutes of my videos on my playlists from my YouTube channel so that you can set up your own server. Now it's up and running and your friends are able to connect to it, which means you've done your port forwarding correctly. However, you still have to go in into your F1 console and type client.connect and then localhost and then your port. Why can't we make it so that we can join our server from our own favorites list so that we don't have to go into our F1 console every time we wanna join our own server? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you guys the very best tips and tricks to owning and operating your own successful Rust server. On this channel, I do a lot of plugin reviews and tutorials to show you the best ways to operate a Rust server. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing and turn on all notification bells so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. If at the end of this video, you felt you took some value out of this, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up for me. Okay, let me show you how you can make it so that your server shows up on your favorites list. Okay, so I've touched on this in the past and I actually didn't have a solution back then. So when you're setting up a local host or even sometimes when you're renting servers from different places, sometimes they don't show up in the actual game directory. What I'm going to show you today will actually force it to show up on your favorites list. And don't get me wrong here, this isn't new information. This is really old. This has been around for a really long time. I just was either reminded of it or remembered it or whatever. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So to get to where you need to go, you need to actually open up Steam so that you're actually looking at your Steam profile. And then in the top left hand corner, click on view, and then you want to open up servers. Sorry, I had to move that onto a different monitor so that it would show up a little bit better for you guys. Okay, so as you can see here, you can see all of my historical servers that I've used in the past and some of them are no longer active, whatever doesn't matter. In order to perform this test and to show you this tutorial, I set up a brand new server that's never been used before. Nobody's ever even logged onto this server before. This is brand spanking new. So here's the server up and running. And as you can see, it's called SRT Bowl Test Server for YouTube 2020. Whatever, doesn't matter what the name is. And if we go into our Rust directory and we search out, we can just search for SRT Bowl. We'll hit the refresh there just in case. And as you can see, nothing is showing up, not in my favorites, not in community, not in modded. Nothing is showing up, even though the server is online and I know that my port forwarding is done correctly. OK, so in order to add a server to our favorites list, we need to click on the bottom right hand button right there called add a server. We need to put in our IP address. This is going to be the local IP address of the machine that's actually hosting the server. So not your public IP address, but your local IP address of the machine that's hosting the server. It might not be the machine that you're playing on if you're hosting your server on an old laptop or or another server or whatever something else inside your house it might not be your local host machines ip address it has to be the ip address of the machine that's actually hosting the server so i know that that's my ip address for that machine that's hosting this server and we need to put in the port 28050 and then we click on add this address to favorites and there you go as you can see it just showed up at the very bottom there srt bold test server for youtube 2020 and if we go back into the game server directory we can click on refresh and there you go a second one from the top there you can see now it's showing up on my favorites list when it wasn't before yeah like literally it even shows you that it's 29 minutes old this is a brand new server it's never been on my favorites directory before anyway so there you go so that basically sums it up if you're tired of typing in client.connect localhost and then your port number you can add your own localhost server to your favorites directory so that you can just click on it like you would any other server as always, at the end of each one of my videos, I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of my patrons that join my Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, check me out at patreon.com slash srtball. Anyways, so a huge shout out to everyone that is on this list right here right now. I appreciate all the support. I thank you so much for the contribution towards my channel. So I think I've moved over the hump of the 20 to 25 minute long videos. I'm hoping to get back to the five to 10 minute videos that you guys are probably used to seeing on my channel. We just had to get some of those really complicated plugins out of the way and topics. Actually, I can think of one already right now that is going to be a little bit longer than normal. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. I hope you guys will check out some of the videos on the right hand side of the screen right now. And as long as the world doesn't fall into any more chaos than it already is in right now, I'll see you guys next Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain standard time. That's it for me. I'll see you guys then.